Well, Hurricane Adalia is the second major hurricane to make landfall in Florida in back to back years. And interestingly, both beginning with the letter I. So Chris has some facts that maybe you didn't know. And if this is just a coincidence in this week's Weather IQ. Hurricane Idalia was the first hurricane to make landfall here in the United States in 2023, and it's backing up this big trend to beware of the I names during hurricane season. Storms beginning with the letter I have been retired more than any other letter, 14 times total, and 12 of those were since the year 2000. Idalia was the fourth I name in the last four years to make landfall in the United States. Isaias was the earliest I name on record in 2020, forming in July, and the last two I name retirees were recently historic. Ida hit Louisiana in 2021, coincidentally on the same date as Katrina. It reversed the Mississippi River's flow briefly and had sustained winds of 150 miles per hour. Ian in 2020 was the costliest hurricane in Florida history and the third costliest in the United States. Peaking as a Category 5, making landfall as a strong Category 4, Ian's storm surge at 13.8 feet in Fort Myers Beach is the highest recorded in Southwest Florida in the past 150 years. Of the 14 I names retired, 13 of them have been major hurricanes, which is Category 3 or stronger. Five have peaked to Category 5, six to Category 4, and two Category 3s. So why I? It's all about timing. Over the last 30 years, the number nine storm, I, averages an appearance around September 16th, right around the peak of hurricane season. Also, peak tropical activity is close to the United States at this time. With the storm surge, damage, and rainfall produced, Idalia was historic and has a good chance of being retired. Idalia was the eighth major hurricane to make landfall in the United States since 2010 and the 40th landfall since 1954, where 87% of those names were retired. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy with WCNC Charlotte. Remember, you can always raise your weather knowledge on our Weather IQ YouTube channel. Just take out your phone and scan the QR code on your screen. It'll take you right to the page where you can like and subscribe for more weather insight. Great story, my friend. What a week. And what's crazy about the high names, so you had Ida, Ian, and then the way Idalia is looking, mm -hmm. good chance that three years in a row the high names have been retired, and most of them have been since the year 2000. Yeah, it seems like we've been very active in the tropics this year.